Okay, so today is April 20th and we just got off of a FaceTime call with our puppy. We are so excited. We are getting a little corgi. That was the reason for this move. It happened a little bit faster than I thought it was gonna happen. Um, but nonetheless, we are so excited and we are just finalizing, sending off the deposit right now to the breeder. And um, yeah, we're getting a puppy. All right, so we are just heading to, I think it's called PetSmart, is it? Oh, I, th oh, I think it's, I don't know, it's TestSmart or Tessel or Tissel, I don't know. We're heading to a pet store right now. I have a list right over here of some of the things that we want to get. I know we just found out today that we're getting the dog, but I'm super excited to just get the stuff for the dog. I don't want to wait. We have about two weeks till we pick it up, but I just want to get a head start. This is my first time getting my own dog, and it's Brendan's like third dog, I guess? Fourth dog? Third. Third dog. So I'm really excited, and I want to get a head start. <laughs> dishwasher is going on and so you can probably hear that as well as uh, I have the windows open because it's a little bit hot out so I just want the air to kind of you know come through um, but we are back and this is the bag that we got from the pet store and this is everything inside we honestly looks like um, two chickens with their head cut off uh, we did not know what to get I called my sister she's like a little puppy and um, I asked her what we should get even the clerk was like oh is this your first um, dog or buying for your first dog buying for your first dog and I was like oh is it that obvious um, but anyway so the first thing we got is this uh, pet parent book and then there's like coupons inside so we got this like I honestly don't know what any of these things are I guess it's like a bouncy ball it's tiny I don't know got her like a little harness in black we were so unsure of the sizes so we just stuck with a small for now as well as a leash they didn't have like a whole lot of options these poop bag things we got these as well too we got some pee pads I don't know if we're gonna need more or less of these the breeder said right now that um, she's trained to go on like a rug this time so we're hoping to train her to go on the pee pads um, but we did get a rug-ish blanket thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> we got this. I'm calling it a rug. This is what it is. And it's also washable so that if she has accidents or she needs to go, she can just go on this for now until we train her, I guess. And then we just got the uh, dog bowl or the dog dishes for, you know, water and food. Um, and then I guess this was the other thing we got, the Kong, and then you're just supposed to put treats inside, I guess, and just like give it to them to keep them busy. Um, so yeah, I don't know if we got the right stuff, the wrong stuff, but I mean, it's just like having a child, like, you know, trial and error, you learn as you go, so I guess we're going to learn as we go, and that's that. So I've been talking with like a lot of pet owners, and one thing that I've learned is that with dogs, every single dog is different and every single breed is different. So one dog may like this toy and another one may not like it. So I think we just got what we got for now just to see what she likes and what she's all about. And then from there we'll expand. Um, but I'm really excited to, you know, hug her and bring her home. Uh, we also just booked our hotel because we are picking her up. Um, closer to Alberta. The breeder is actually in Alberta um, and we are meeting the breeder in Golden, BC. So that's about uh, a 10 hour drive from where we live. So uh, we also don't have a car. So I rented a car for us as well um, for the drive. So we leave in less than two weeks and I'm super excited. In that time, we'll do some more research. Um, although we did more research um, prior to even deciding on a Corgi, but still I just wanna brush up on uh, my knowledge 
um, do some research on things that we should get um, and just some little stuff as well too. And one really big thing that we're deciding on are um, some names. We have a few in mind, but we're going to decide once we see her to make sure that it is fitting for her. Um, but um, yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm so excited. So I guess I'll see you guys next week when we start um, heading out to pick her up. So this is the back seat. We are gonna pick her up in I think about an hour and a half to two hours. We put the sheet on the car to protect it. We got her this blanket and we brought some of her toys. And then we have a bag over here just full of treats and more toys and her leash. Um, Cause we're gonna need it. We're just sitting here in every car that pulls through. We're like, is that her? Is that her? We're like, she's supposed to be here in about 15 minutes. I'm so nervous. How do you feel? Excited. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is her. Oh, no. <laughs> False alarm number two. <laughs> what color is it? Oh, dang. okay. I think that's them. Dark gray. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so nervous. Oh my god, come on. I am so nervous. Oh wait, is that even them? Yeah. Just one person. Yeah, I think that's her. Okay, let's get out. This is so awkward. <laughs> I think that's that. Say hi to the vlog. We've had her for a few days now. She likes belly rubs and she's super playful and energetic. Oh, this is her favorite thing to do, I think, is to grab a toy like this <laughs> and just move it along the floor. She can do this for literally like 30, 40 minutes. That will keep her entertained for like a good 40 minutes. Another thing she likes to do is grab all of her toys and hoard them underneath my boyfriend's desk right over there. And when he's working, she also likes to sit underneath there, right in between. Pretty much she likes to sit, ah! She likes to sit right over there and just wedge herself between the light and the desk. We have her crate. We're still um, learning how to crate train her. We're trying to get her acquainted with the area. We put in one of my shirts and then one of my boyfriend's shirts just so she can feel comfortable and get to know our scents. We also put in her favorite toy, which she already, <laughs> which she already destroyed. And then we also just put in some of her food and her water to show her that the crate is a good space, and in the crate is where she'll get rewarded. Go in your crate. Go inside. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> oh, good girl, Pakora. Yeah, so we also opened up both of these doors to show her like, you know, you can go in and out and that you don't have to feel trapped. The crate does come with a divider. Um, and then we put the divider in at nighttime. Um, 
just to kind of give her just only the space she needs. And then we also take out the food. Um, so this is her, our little crazy puppy. <laughs> Trying to get her treat right now. We are also working on, on the potty training. Aren't we working on the potty training, Pecora? What's on your nose? Nothing, okay. Yeah, so we're working on the potty training. Um, it's going okay, I guess, but um, I guess my biggest concern is the crate. I want her to feel comfortable in here. We haven't had a good night's sleep since we picked her up. Um, so I'm hoping that can change very quickly because I am tired, but she obviously is not. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she really likes to bite my hair. But I'm going to end the video out here. Pakora, say bye. Bye. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, God. <laughs>